there was a kind of a viral uh, video that you put up a couple days ago where you were, you were going through Dunkin' Donuts drive through and you have a miraculous medal. And you're like, I'm going to try to give this miraculous medal to the lady in the drive through and, and it was an awesome video. A lot of people were like, I'm crying. It's incredible. Can you explain that? Maybe I can pull that up while you're talking. Sure. Well, you know, I, I actually have one of these miraculous medals here, and I'll get into the story. Mm-hmm. We'll see how much if you're able to pull that up. So I'll just give kind of the, the boring side of this. This is a this chain right here you can get for 15 cents each on Amazon. I think I texted you a link to that. Yep, and I then, bought some. Great. And then this is a uh, miraculous medal. It's 30 cents at Marytown, which is the Colby thing north of uh, yeah. north of Chicago. And there's different levels of oxida- oxidation. The one that I linked, they're out of. It's very Franciscan. They're always out of one, but they have another one. So just scroll through the different levels of oxidation for these. But basically, uh, if you get these in bulk, these are 30 cents. And as I always say, people, if you give someone a miraculous medal, they're going to put this in their pocket and it's going to end up in the change pocket. They're just going to end up in the laundry like their change. But if you put it on a chain, uh, people will frequently take it. And if you have a mild encouragement to them, like, will you wear this? Many people will say yes. In fact, I had another a man at the abortion center yesterday. He wasn't going in there. He was just driving by and wanted to talk to a minister, as he said. He's a black guy. And I said to him, maybe 15 minutes into our conversation, I gave him this. I said, would you wear it? And he said yes also. Um, so did you want me to talk about what happened? Well, why don't I show? I found the clip. Hello, it's Father David Nix. I'm going through the drive through at Dunkin' Donuts. And we're going to do miraculous metal evangelization. Don't know how this is going to go. It could get rejected. So we'll see how it goes. Here it is. Good morning. morning. Good okay. Thank you. Got my two donuts. And here's the miraculous metal here. I always make sure to give them out on chains. Thank you. These chains you can get for fifth. No thanks. These chains you can get for 15 cents. Thanks. This is a miraculous medal. Can I give that to you? Sure. Jesus promised a lot of graces through Mary's hands to anybody who wears it. Will you wear it? Yeah. All right. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. So right there you saw that even with the mask on, she took a, a gift from a stranger right there. She was really happy to receive it. And let me see if I can turn around. I want to talk a little bit about the rosary. I got my cold brew right here, and I got to turn around. But um, all right, I'll pause it there, Father. Okay, so that was awesome. That's that's incredible. Um, You know, I don't think I've ever talked about this on a video, but uh, when I was a Protestant seminarian, I was probably twenty-two or twenty-three years old. A man gave me a miraculous medal. And I thought it was so cool, even though I was a Protestant. It had wow. the Virgin Mary on it, but I wasn't against the Virgin Mary. And I began to wear it. And I saw the same guy later on. And he goes, and I said, thanks for that medal. He's like, you wearing it? I go, yeah. And I showed him I was wearing it. So that was probably a beginning of some graces in my life. That's incredible. I didn't know that story. And so I keep a bag of miraculous medals in my backpack. I told you once I was in the Denver airport and I saw a woman just bawling her eyes out, crying. And I just walked over and I was like, hey, I'd like to give this miraculous medal to the Virgin Mary. And she was like, thank you so much. Um, but I, I, I never did the the, the string or the uh, the chain. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. People just put it in their pocket and they're going to lose it. If you, give them, right. if you give them the chain, they might put it on right then and you've got them. And I think people make evangelization too too scary because of that word evangelization. Mm-hmm. If you switch it in your mind to you're just giving somebody a gift, it becomes a lot easier. Right. And I don't mean to make it sound like the general populace is shallow or stupid, but people like shiny things. If you stop looking at it as as evangelization and just people like a gift, it's it's a it's a beautiful shiny gift. It's a necklace, and people are going to take it. Personalized, intimate interactions with people. Uh, under this, as long as they're not afraid of talking to you or being within six feet of you, people are hungry for any interaction. So you don't have to feel like you're interjecting something foreign to people's lives. In fact, if you think about it, all seven billion people on the planet were programmed in their hearts for the Catholic faith. So we have to stop seeing it as us and them. If you start seeing every person has been made by God, every Jew, every Muslim, every pagan, every transgender, every single person on the planet has been made for Jesus Christ and his Catholic Church. When you really believe that, 
this stuff becomes easy. Yeah. 